guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about my top five best and worst lip products. You guys know that this is a topic that I'm a pretty much an expert on. I would consider myself to be a, a lipstick expert because I just love them so much. They're definitely my favourite product in, in the form of like makeup and things like that. So you guys know that I have quite a collection of lipsticks all of which are quite similar in colour and brands um, and things like that. So you guys know that I've had quite a good opportunity to review many different lipsticks and actually pick five pretty decent best ones and worst ones. So we'll get cracking with the best ones to show you guys my absolute ultimate favourites at the minute and my absolute ultimate worst lipsticks at the minute. So let's get started. Starting with number one, I'm going to talk to you about a drugstore one. This is L'Oreal's Lip Paint Matte in the shade 201 Hollywood Beige. I've talked about this a lot on my Instagram I think recently because I have been wearing it an awful lot over the last few months. Essentially it's quite a muted peachy toned nude matte lipstick in liquid form. I really love this. It smells really nice as well, it smells really fruity and obviously it's really inexpensive because it is drugstore. I would definitely repurchase this again. It's very, very similar to that of Oxblood by MAC if you had that limited edition one from their collection. Then it's very, very similar to that. If you want to get your hands on something similar, then this is it. It's absolutely gorgeous. You'll probably see this lots over on my Instagram if you haven't already. My Instagram's linked below, by the way, if you want to head over and follow me on that. And then obviously you can see what this looks like in the flesh. And next lipstick I'm going to talk to you about is the Kat Von D Lolita 2 lipstick. This is one of the everlasting liquid lipsticks. I've talked about this a lot again over on my Instagram and here on my channel and things like that. I picked this one up when I was in New York because I wanted to get some Kat Von D lipsticks over there and this is the one I went for because it, it was very much like Kylie Cosmetics Ginger which was what I was wearing tons at that time and essentially it was just a cheaper alternative and a much easier alternative to get your hands on so I highly recommend this if you like Ginger by Kylie Cosmetics because this is literally the exact colour of that but much more easy to get your hands on and obviously you don't have to pay shipping fees and things like that because you can get your hands on Kat Von D now from Debenhams in the UK. I love the formula of this, I love the longevity, I love how long it lasts, I love the colour, I love the pigmentation, it's just a beautiful beautiful lipstick and I'm sad to say this is the only Kat Von D lipstick I actually have because I need more in my life. You guys know I love that lipstick so much. Next we'll quickly talk about a very very obvious favourite. This is Max Mer lipstick in a matte formula. This is a really nice mauvey pink colour and I absolutely love this. I've worn this so, so much. I've actually got a second one of these ready for when this one runs out. There's not that much left of this now and it's in a very odd shape, but essentially this is like my ultimate go-to lipstick. If I don't know what to wear, I will wear Mer or Whirl quite frequently and this is just beautiful. It's my perfect pink, nudie pink colour and I absolutely love it. Matte lipsticks, you can't really go wrong, can you? They're just a fail safe. So that is absolutely my favourite matte lipstick by far. Next I want to quickly talk to you about my favourite red at the minute because reds I find quite awkward. I really have to like fall in love with a red lipstick. I have to like like that it doesn't transfer, I have to like the formula, I have to like that it doesn't create that horrible inner lip mark and also that it's easy to get off and it's easy to, easy to reapply. So this one is probably my ultimate favourite red at the minute and that is Marc Jacobs 210 Blow and again this is kind of like a creamier consistency than a matte but still quite mattifying I'd say, so it's more like a satin. It's a really deep red, but it comes out much redder than it actually looks here. And it's really, really nice. I absolutely love it. As I said, it's just fit all the criteria for everything that I have just said. So it's really long lasting. It's really easy to reapply. It's great packaging, which is also a winner. It's a really nice colour. It doesn't transfer onto things and it's easy to remove when you want it off. So it's a really good lipstick and I highly recommend trying it if you like your reds, especially deep reds, because this is a really, really nice shade and I absolutely love that one. Next, because I had to do five, I've picked two pinks that I simply couldn't choose between. So essentially one is the one I'm wearing now and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Crush. This is a really nice mauve pink liquid lipstick. So it's a very, very similar colour actually to Mer by MAC. Anastasia lipsticks are not very easy to get your hands on over here in the UK. So if you wanted something similar to this, Mer is very, very, very similar. So I'll link them all below, but obviously if you're in the UK, it's easier to get your hands on this. However, if you are somewhere that does sell Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, oh my God, this is an absolute winner. I absolutely love it. I need to go somewhere that sells these lipsticks because literally I need more in my life. I love the formula, I love the pigmentation, I love how they apply, I love how easy they are to put on and I just love how amazing this looks. Like this is one of my favourite lipsticks ever and definitely one of my favourite pinks. So yes, it ticks all the boxes for me, I absolutely love it. 
and then because I couldn't do this without this lipstick I wore this so much at the start of this year talked about it literally so much and I literally couldn't do this video without it so I picked up the Bare Minerals in the shade Smooch this is a matte lipstick as you guys know I wore this loads around the time I went to Krakow back in February it's a really, really light pink colour, very, very light milkshake-esque, very, very light. So quite unlike anything that I usually reach for, but I think it just complements everything about my complexion and things at the minute, i.e. my pale skin and my blonde hair. It goes really nicely with that, it kind of makes me feel very, very girly. And it's something different to my sort of typical nude lipsticks, like I either go for like a ready nude a nudey nude or a pinky nude and this is so far away from all them that that's why I think I love it. Also it smells amazing, they're really cheap, they're really easy to get your hands on as well and they just apply really nicely, they feel really really creamy when you put them on, you can instantly smell the actual product and I just really really like them so I would definitely recommend getting your hands on any of these Bare Minerals matte lip matte lipsticks they're absolutely amazing and I simply couldn't choose between the two of these although they are very different. So that is all my best lipsticks over and done with so now I feel like we should move on to the worst lipsticks obviously this was very very hard for me to choose although because I do have so many it was quite easy because obviously out of the hundred lipsticks I own I'm going to not like some as much as others so I'm going to show you now the top five ones that I definitely would put in the bottom five of my lipstick collection. Although here I am again with six lipsticks because it's so difficult for me to choose. Actually two of them fit into the same category so I'm just going to talk about them first so first and foremost I would like to talk about some lipsticks that simply have not oh I don't know how to describe this basically not reached the standards I quite possibly would have liked and although they are very very hyped and although I jumped on this hype I do not reach for these lipsticks at all anymore so essentially these are the Kylie Cosmetics matte liquid lipsticks in Dirty Peach and Exposed. I have more of these as well. I've got Posy Kate, I've got Ginger. I do have Metals which are currently on sale over on my Depop. I'll link my Depop below if you want to get your hands on them because I do not wear them anymore. I've barely worn them so they're all for sale over there. There's nothing wrong with these two colours. They're simply just the ones that I picked out of the drawer quicker than the other two. But essentially I just wanted to talk really about the whole range of Kylie Cosmetics. Although I loved them and I jumped on the hype really really quickly and I was so excited for the whole thing when it started. I just feel like are they really worth the money? Are they really worth the shipping and everything else that you have to pay when you order these from the UK. Personally not because as I've said I've found really good dupes of these like the um, Kat Von D Lolita 2 for Ginger and I'm sure there's plenty more out there that have got really good dupes as well that you don't need to spend that much money to get them shipped over just purely for the Kylie name on them. That is going to be a very controversial thing for me to say but honestly I just feel like I probably wouldn't purchase these lipsticks again because I know that there's some out there on the market that are really similar that I can get for a lot cheaper and not have to pay ridiculous fees for them to be shipped to the UK. There's nothing wrong with the colours, they're amazing. I like the formula of these as I've said before. I really like the lip liners in particular that you get in the lip kits but personally I probably wouldn't buy them again unless she wowed me with some like amazing shades that came out or something like that, then I might jump back on that bandwagon. Next, I'll talk to you about one of the, actually, the Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lipsticks that I was just showing you, the one that I loved in Smooch. I picked up another one of these because I love that one so much, and this one is the shade Friendship, which is more of like a ready toned nude, quite similar to Kat Von D Lolita 2 actually, so you know what I'm like, I always pick up shades that are really, really similar to each other. The only reason I put this in my worst is because I don't reach for it as much as I would have liked. I've worn this once and it really didn't wow me as much as the other shade did. I don't know if I just loved that one so much because of the actual colour of that product, but this one I just haven't reached for as much, which makes me really sad. I just felt like I needed to put this in the worst category because I don't wear it enough, I don't reach for it enough, and there's probably a reason why, but I'm not entirely sure. I can't decide if it's just because of the colour or if it's just because I have other ones that are similar which don't transfer and, and are just a better pigmentation and things like that. But yeah, so I probably need to reach for this one more because it is a nice colour. I just don't wear it enough, so that's why it's made its way into the worst category. Next is a MAC lipstick, actually, which which has made its way into my worst category. So essentially, this is another hype that I completely jumped on the bandwagon with, and it is the MAC Cinderella lipstick in shade Free as a Butterfly. I just desperately wanted anything from this collection that I could get my hands on, and when I could finally, when I finally could get it, I was like, I'll just take anything. So I didn't really care what it was, didn't care what shade it was, I didn't care anything. I just wanted something purely because I wanted to jump on the bandwagon. So I picked up this shade and literally it is the lightest nude lipstick ever. Like when would I ever wear that lipstick, seriously? It's too light for my skin tone. It doesn't even look nice over the top of things. I never, ever, ever wear it. It just sits in my drawer 
and I guess it's a collectible item but honestly I just never wear this lipstick so it's made its way into the bottom of my lipstick collection because essentially I never wear it and it just feels like a little bit of a waste of money. I'm not going to get rid of it because it is like limited edition and stuff and it looks great in my collection but essentially I just never wear it so it's made me learn my lesson for jumping on these bandwagons because literally I do it all the time and regret it because the products sometimes don't turn out how I would like them to. Next I'm going to talk to you about a Estee Lauder lipstick. So essentially I got these in a set of lipsticks and I just have to say that I'm not completely in love with it. I actually have got two for sale over on my Depop which again I said I would link below. So the, essentially there's nothing wrong with the formula of these, I just don't reach for it very often. So this is one of the Estee Lauder lipsticks, um, pure colour lipsticks in the shade 17 Rose Tea. So this is the nude shade, I've actually decided to keep this one. So it is... It is a nice colour, I just don't reach for it very much and that's why it's made its way into the bottom because for a high-end lipstick I was kind of expecting more. I just don't feel like the pigmentation is that amazing. The formula isn't really what I would reach for. I'm not totally, totally impressed with this or in love with this as much as I maybe would have hoped, which is a shame. So as I said, I've got two shades of these lipstick on my Depop. They're probably great for somebody else if you like different formulas and stuff, but for me this isn't just this just isn't a formula I'd reach for, so I'm, I'm just not in love with that. Finally, last lipstick to me make its way into my worst category is actually a Chanel lipstick which makes me deeply sad but essentially it's not because of the brand, it's not because of the formula, it's not because of the product, it's because I do not love this colour of lipstick anymore. I've completely fallen out of love with this colour of lipstick. So this is one of the Chanel lipsticks. This is a Rouge Allure Velvet in 50 La Rom Romanesque. I cannot speak with an accent to save my life, so I apologise about that. However, this lipstick, amazing packaging, like you click the end and it pulls out, it's fantastic. Formula of this is beautiful, like I absolutely love it. I don't know why I didn't pick a more neutral shade when I actually bought this because I don't reach for this very often at all anymore. This is like a really nice matte pink, but unfortunately I don't wear matte pinks anymore. I don't wear bright pinks like this. I reach for reds, nudes, purples, and that's literally it. I don't wear pink very much, um, apart from maybe like that light pink that I showed you before from Bare, Bare Minerals, and then obviously this Anastasia one, because this is quite mauve and I usually reach for more mauve colours than bright pink. Maybe I'll start falling in love with it again. It's just currently, I do not love dark pink lipsticks. I just think that they make me, with being blonde, I feel like they make me look a bit Barbie-ish, and I really don't like it. Not that I think I look like a Barbie, but I just think blonde, personally on me, with bright pink lipstick, just doesn't go. I've actually got rid of quite a lot of my pink lipsticks because of that reason. That rounds up my best and worst lipsticks. Can you believe it? I actually managed to choose worst lipsticks but it just goes to show like the more you try the more you obviously review and don't, don't love some of them. That's obviously human nature. As I've said previously in these videos this is my own personal opinion. You guys might absolutely love these lipsticks. They might work for you. However, they just do not work for me at all. Or they do, and I absolutely love them. For my own personal reasons, my own personal preference, we are entitled to our own opinions, and I completely accept that you guys might love these lipsticks. I'm just going to round this video up here now. Um, I really hope that you have enjoyed sort of this series of videos, I guess, about my favourites and um, not so favourites. If you want to see kind of any more of these in the future or anything like that, then please do let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you love. Tell me what you hated. Tell me if there's anything that you would recommend I try and I will happily pick them up, you know me. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me, click that subscribe button down there and also on screen now. I bring you two videos a week, Wednesdays and Sundays at 5pm UK time and yeah, I will leave you guys here now. So see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.